Another episode of Vibe with Terry. He could easily pass out as a dancer at this rate. Looks like we have a new guest, who also seems to love the vibe. But then comes the giant T-Rex bringing in chaos with him. is so chill. He's got a super gun with which he's gonna transform into a giant cat. All the dinos were stunned to see the visual. The cat was triggered and set out for an attack. repeatedly punched T-Rex while he fell unrevived. That wasn't enough for the car. began continuously banging T-Rex to the ground. The cat even crushed his head many times with its paw. Here's the T-Rex facing consequences for his act. Enough lessons. That cat is back in a good mood. The baby dinos are taking a walk into the dense Jurassic jungle. It is where they belong. But they are near the prohibited area of the jungle. But the little ones are always so curious. about let's sneak in carefully and see what's going on nothing worse might happen guys all the dinos were agreeing except the parasaur what do you mean by nothing worse may happen it's literally a prohibited place oh grow up man you need to be brave all the dinos proceeded but parasaur was reluctant they slowly sneaked in only to see automobiles all over. The dinosaur truck won their attention. 
They casually went near to see it and accidentally the stand fell. The truck activated and ate Ankylosaurus. Both the dinos began running away. Parasaur saw from afar and got alert. Oh no! The truck soon ate the Triceratops and then the Parasaur. Parasaur was quite away and he's doing a good job running from it. The truck isn't even sparing the stones or rocks. But it surely can't swallow wood. I stopped them from entering that restricted area. But they didn't listen. Now a weird truck ate them. Now it's coming to eat me. Now it will be a one-on-one -on -one between T-Rex and the truck. to consider T-Rex as the superhero of Jurassic World. Here's a T-Rex living by the lake. Dissociated from worldly pleasures. There lived a few dinos like the Stegosaurus. Raptor. The raptor is here to hydrate himself. On the other side, Triceratops and Ankylosaurus. What? They were peacefully living until chaos struck upon their planet. Huge chunks of meteorites fell upon their land. What? All the dinosaurs were running out of terror. The blue T-Rex realizes something is off and goes to see it. that the meteorite fell and caused a fire to break out. He quickly calms the fire through his ice beaming superpower. It seems like the blue T-Rex is born out of water energy. A raptor is peacefully drinking water when a meteorite falls upon it. He quickly ran from there. Ankylosaurus and Triceratops are seeing a meteorite which nearly hit them. The Red T-Rex is here to rescue them with his supernatural powers. He must have been born out of air or a fierce element. meteors were approaching towards the land. Certainly an earth element. Just like that, a few meteors fell and the blue T-Rex pulled the fire off. These supernatural dinos continued cleaning up the mess. But they instantly realized that they needed to unite to completely stop the chaos. Their friendship shares sparks and all of them are ready to face the situation and protect the land and dinos from further damage. sending the meteorites into the water. These supernatural beings are often termed as superheroes. right in the deserted area of Dino Land. The bird was singing. 
It has its reasons. But she has caught the attention of a sad buried dinosaur, who's none other than T-Rex. Seems like it has been an eternity he hasn't eaten anything. After looking around T-Rex spots ants walking to their colonies with hard-earned food, he decides on getting them. T-Rex cleverly hit himself and closed the way to their colonies. The innocent ants entered his mouth instead. felt choked for a moment. Oh, no! But after vomiting a few leftovers, he's content and takes a joyful walk. Distance afar, he sees exhausted dinosaurs and runs to them. What? Oh, yeah! them away from there and runs after them. The Dinus are cleverly running as three by standing upon one another. The Dinus ran to a lake and diverted. But the T-Rex was tricked to fall into water and all the sand in his body came off and he turned into parts. While the Dinus are busy celebrating this, T-Rex resurrected and begins chasing them. They take a different turn while T-Rex takes a different one. That evil guy will not die just because of water. I guess we should be filling him with concrete so he stays stable. And then we break his head. The dinos did what suited them and now they are free from evil. The wild dinosaurs are hanging by the lake. Some are resting under the shade and few mothers are raising their kids. Peace did not remain since an evil force came. What? He sees the Triceratops and grabs his energy and turns him into an evil dino too. Eventually what? preying upon almost all the dinos. The evil spirit did not even spare the mother and the child. He's running to attack Raptor and Terry Rex. Oh no! At a distance, there were the mighty T-Rex superheroes, the red hero, fire element, blue hero, ice element, and the green guy with earth element. Hey guys, please save us from this evil T-Rex guy. He is snatching our spirits. He is very brutal. Please help us. The dinos ran away in terror, leaving the bad guy to the superheroes. The Earth guy reached out to kill him entirely, but the spirit was snatched. Oh no! The 
the other two heroes got back to Cook. After a while, they figured where the evil power lies. Therefore, they removed it. All the innocent dinos got their spirits back thanks to the superheroes of Dinosaur World. There's this mysterious den in the dino world. It must be cursed. Then comes the three dinos. It seems like these troublemakers are escaping someone. This place looks peaceful. Let's walk in. I'm hungry. The Dinus came across two paths and were confused about which path to take. Just then the raptor sees the cursed door. Let's go this way and see what's inside the den. We can even live there if it's abundant. What? Are you mad? That's a very cursed place, inhabited by a very evil dinosaur. You wouldn't even return back once you witness it. Are you crazy? I love adventures. Oh no! Raptor ran towards the den and stood afar triggering the beast in it to see if it actually exists. Raptor then sees a bridge and wants to cross. He just goes and the evil T-Rex ran and caught and took the raptor in. Oh no! The Dinus were traumatized and ran from there. There comes walking, an Ankylosaurus that was driven by so much hunger. He sees an apple and quickly goes and puts it in his mouth. Only to realize it was a stone. Ankylosaurus reached a stage of hallucination. This shows that he hasn't eaten for many days. He failed to walk more so he gave up on the ground. Stegosaurus is going through the same condition and gave up too. The Parasaur and Triceratops were very exhausted too. It was a bad decision coming here. Parasaur was madly hungry so he ran from there towards the den area. So he could cross the bridge and go to the other side. But during the halfway escaping from there the evil T-Rex ran after him. What? Caught him and dragged him in. Triceratops was left alone and was sadly taking a walk out of the jungle. He sees that Ankylosaurus had fallen out of exhaustion and helps him up. I want to cross the bridge. Will you come with me? What? We want to cross the bridge. Will you come with us? Stegosaurus had agreed too. They successfully went by the den. But soon after the evil T-Rex came and took a jump to obstruct them from going. The confusion struck until Terry Rex bravely came and stood face to face with T-Rex. He sees that the bridge might break. So he manages to break the whole thing and succeeds in an attempt to kill the T-Rex. Terry Rex is now the superhero of the jungle. The mommy and baby T-Rex are taking it towards the sea. They might be having a philosophical time. Well, no. We are going to hunt sharks. The bay is clearly excited. 
Mommy T-Rex jumps into the sea for a shark. Meanwhile, baby T-Rex is relaxing amongst the natural aesthetics. He sees a butterfly and runs behind it like any other Disney main character. Which leads them to some sort of trouble. Meanwhile, Mommy T-Rex is still struggling to catch the shark. Meanwhile, the baby is unbothered and befriends the butterfly. But there are two dinosaurs next to a fireplace to tackle the cold. An evil T-Rex avenges a plan. The dinos meet an evil T-Rex and the rest becomes a chase. <coughs> to which Parasaur becomes the prey. Raptor hides behind and sees his beloved friend being eaten by an evil T-Rex. Now, he gets chased. Meanwhile, Mommy T-Rex successfully got the shark and excitedly goes to her son. Meanwhile, the little T-Rex is still unbothered while evil comes his way. Raptor sees little T-Rex and eventually knows he could be the prey. Therefore, he quickly ran away as soon as the T-Rex approached. The evil guy's eyes fell upon little T-Rex. Raptor is watching the show from afar. The baby is in crisis now. What? Mommy T-Rex's mother instincts went to blue. She looks around and doesn't see her baby. She instantly knows something isn't right. Raptor hits a tree upon evil T-Rex to divert him. But the evil guy's hungry for the little one's life itself. Mommy T-Rex is here. She instantly ran to protect her little life. hits the evil skull with the wood. the lag, Mommy T-Rex eats the evil guy with a somersault and that's when she knew. It's over for the evil guy. Not all superheroes wear capes. Some feed to yummy sharks. The heads of the Ankylosaurus and Stegosaurus are cruelly cut and placed next to the fireplace. There sat the cunning T-Rex who's an absolute psychopath. He got out of his fearsome den to hunt for more heads. A Triceratops is peacefully resting while the T-Rex came stomping towards him. Perhaps his next victim. What? Triceratops ran away as he approached. But there was a Terry-Rex who was resting happily. Perhaps an easy victim. T-Rex performed his attack and non-surgically collected his head and went back to his den. So this is the place where he lives. I heard he is very notorious psychopath who is obsessed with the heads of our kind. I will have a quick look and come back.
Raptor sneakily went in, but how come he did not expect psychopaths to be alert? What? <laughs> T-Rex caught him and ran after him. Oh no! Raptor certainly escaped, but by leaving Triceratops as an easy prey. After a terrific escape, he ran into a normal Tyrannosaurus. You won't be laughing this way if you know the reason. A cannibal T-Rex is chasing me what? to cut my head and eat. The T-Rex still continued to mock Raptor, so Raptor took him for the proof. Did you see that? Go in and challenge him if you can. As soon as the Tyrannosaurus got in his bravery took off. Oh no! He straightly got into attacking the cunning T-Rex without any delay and soon Raptor joined him. and then they implanted the heads back into the Dainu bodies. Not all heroes wear capes. They may wear yellow stripes and tend to laugh at psychopaths. These two are Mommy T-Rex's lovely eggs. She's impatiently waiting to see her kids. Meanwhile a trio comes walking that way. They saw a group of Brachiosauruses and felt weird. Meanwhile a group of Pterodexes chaotically came running to T-Rex's den. Brave of them to assume that a giant and wild creature would fear a dwarf like them. Terry Rex like a cigar. All of this was being observed by the trio. I think they might return again. Let's stay here and protect those eggs. Meanwhile, let's practice that move once again. Ready? The Terry Rexes got there with preparation. Mommy T Rex is not giving up her eggs. Oh no! She runs after the Terry Rexes. While the trio sees the third one stealing the T Rex egg, they quickly got there and began threatening Terry Rex to give oh, up. No! The Mommy T Rex got there. She got furious seeing the theft happening. Terry Rex escaped the mall and ran into the forest. Terry trips from a branch and falls. What? The egg went flying and fell into the sea. What? while the T-Rex ran to protect her baby. Thankfully it didn't break and she brought back her egg home. While the trio protected her another egg. Soon the baby emerged. The trio began celebrating T-Rex's motherhood. A very dense jungle with rare creatures. Triceratops began chasing the forest lizard. As soon as he thought he might escape, T-Rex showed up.
both the dinos attacked and killed the lizard. The little T-Rex and Triceratops were taking a walk and came across another forest lizard. They began chasing him while he ran for his life. Soon the forest wizard came across another two dinos who attacked him without any delay. Raptor and Parasaur soon began chasing T-Rex and Triceratops. This is how the food chain works. The predators are always after the weak. Triceratops soon got upon a sleeping giant T-Rex. She gets to his senses and sees the Dinos. She begins chasing him while they run. Meanwhile the small T-Rex ran into giant Triceratops and the chase began. two mothers meet, what? seeing the younger versions of each other. The giant dinos were confused. T-Rex thought Triceratops sent its kid to avenge him, while Triceratops thought T-Rex sent his kid that a fight broke out. Both are equally attacking each other. What? <laughs> Seeing both the dinos busy in the face off, the raptor and pterosaur attacked the little dinos. What? <gasps> oh no! Mommy! Please help! They might kill us! <coughs> Little T-Rex returned to its mom and so did the Triceratops. They embraced their moms for saving their lives that day.